Yes, we're back on Games Masters Nautical Holiday Camp. I've just been up to the helipad and I'm positively awash with the latest games players to come gushing up. Now, Wolf, you're actually here for a special reason tonight, aren't you? That's right. I've come to rescue my girlfriend, Lisa, who failed last week and is in the pit. That's right. Now, what we've said, because we're very nice people here, if you can complete this challenge, Wolf, Lisa will go home. Well, he's going to have to do it quickly. He's got one and a half minutes to get to the end and defeat the dinosaur, and his main squeeze is in the pit, so he's going to have to get her back, isn't he? All right. <laughs> OK, so, Wolf, are you ready? Then your one and a half minutes begins... Now, OK, off goes Wolf here. Wolf is playing the old caveman, Joe and Mac. Lovely little spin there. He's not wasting any time at all here, Frank. Yeah, he? it's easy to waste time killing dinosaurs and baddies, but it's actually much OK, he's had uh, just over, he's had 35, 36 seconds. He's doing very well indeed. Oh, bit of a bash on the noggin there. Oh, now that's good there. That replenishes the energy a little bit. He's got four hearts left. He's got to keep going, though. He's only got 42 seconds left. And he's down to three hearts. He can still do it if he really rushes. And here he is at the end of the level, and the dinosaur should come on now. OK, this is good. Three grey lines there, just underneath uh, Wolf's hearts here. He's only got 13 seconds left here. It's going to be very, very he close. He's going to hurry, he's going to hurry. He's only got eight seconds left. The time's going down, the time's going down. Come on, Wolf, he's got four seconds left. Four, three, two, one. The dinosaur's he's done gone. It. He's, yeah. done he's done it just in the nick of time. Is worth more than a million golden joysticks. You have rescued the fair Lisa. Well, if I wish slip a discreet veil in your own dimension in time for El Dorado in another world. My Zuma. A great game. The whole setup, the atmosphere with the music, the graphics are superb. You really get a feel for this game. You, you can't go wrong with it. Once you know what you're doing, you start off at point A, you work your way through to point B, and there's, there's not a lot you can cock up in between. Graphically, it's brilliant. Sonically, it's brilliant. But it's far too easy. The day's play just ain't enough at this price. Next up, wear outrageously baggy pants and wield a long weapon in Prince of Persia. A game for anyone who's got delusions of being Sinbad. It's a great clingy, jumpy, fighty game. Once you've solved problems, got your password and gone on through to the next level, the game does become very short in its life. This is probably better aimed at, at, at younger players. Um, older players will probably find it far too easy because the puzzles are just nowhere near complicated enough. Finally, the much-heralded sequel to Another World hits you where it hurts in a rather technicolor manner in flashback. From the same mold as Another World, but... It shows you where on the screen I'm hitting the incorrect notes until I actually find it. There's also another game called Ripcord. Now, Ripcord actually teaches you how to find the right chords at the right time. So I've got to play the notes at the top there at the right time. Hit them correctly, the shoots come out, I hit the bell. If I make a mistake, Ow. the shoots don't... And then what we can do, we can add effects to it distorted even if you wanted to. What all this tinkering about means is, with only a few hours game playing a week, you can belt out rock music like this after only a year. Take it away, Ricky. If you fancy making sweet music with Richard, you can win a Miracle Piano Tutor at Games Master Live on the 4th, 5th and 6th of December at the Birmingham NEC. To book, call the box office on 0217804133. And finally, how could we possibly... It's been in the mid-twenties, but under such tense conditions, I don't know if I can do as well. OK, well, conditions are certainly tense. You're playing against one of the masters of the Green Bays. John, how, do, how does this compare to the real thing? It's very, very good, actually. It looks very, very lifelike. Mm -hmm. um, the Q action's probably a little bit better than mine. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping I'll do quite well, but I think I'm up against it today. OK, then. Right, Adam, if you'd like to take your place in the game-playing chair. John, if you'd like to hang on behind. And we'll get ready to start. The Games Master Pool Challenge is based on Archer McLean's pool. You may remember him as a challenger in the first series. He's helping me commentate tonight. Welcome, Archer. Thanks very much. Now, any tips you can give our players tonight? 
Well, I'll just be very quick round the table, really. They've only got 90 seconds, so it's not a lot. OK, then. As I just said, 90 seconds to score as many points as they can. Adam, are you ready? Then off you go. OK. He's just going straight for the six. Six. And off he goes. Oh, oh lovely cross Brilliant. Nice one. Good start. And one minute, 11 seconds left. No, no, it's got to be really quick with these shots, because some of the long ones can take 20 seconds. That's only four or five balls. Yep. Now, what's he going for? Eight, five. Safe shot. OK, he's lining up the five here. That should be quite quite a straightforward shot into the and bottom right goes. corner. And is he going to follow it? <laughs> to put on that. Oh, a, li a little yeah. bit of left. A little bit of left. And oh, no, is he going towards the pocket? Mm. No, it's just... Oh! Very, very close. Hovered about in the pocket there, but kept out. So he's got 57 seconds left. Six into the middle. Now, if he uses a bit of spin on this, he can get down for the nine. That's right. Is he going to try that? Is he put a wee bit of oh, no. spin? Oh, Excellent. yes. Nice position it's as well now. Absolutely straight on. So, Adam Marvelous. has a score of 17 with 40 seconds left. Games Master Pool Hall, where young Adam Whisker scored 29 points on Archer McLean's Games Master Pool Challenge. John Parrott stepped up to the table. He's about to have his one and a half minutes to see if he can beat the score. John, are you ready? I'm ready. Then off you go. Okay, he's gone for the eight, straight and it's eight. time. Eight points it's about off. to start. No. Lovely. Oh, lovely straight stop off. ball there. Nice on the nine in the middle. Eight points, lovely shot there. And John in the nine. The two's lying there inviting, That's but it's it. the points that count. The numbers on the balls correspond to the scores he gets if he sinks them. He's Bit taking quite a bit of time to set up this half power, a little bit of chalk. And I should follow this down the table. And, uh, oh yes, he lost that one in there. A little bit of left on that. Let's see where he's, where he's ended up. He's got the three ball there, the two ball. Oh, a little bit of deliberation needed here. One minute. He's wasting a wee bit of time. He's got 56 seconds left. He's scored 17. He's got 29 to beat. Oh, I think it's going to whack him really hard. No, he's, he's going to go for He's six. got to go for that six, I think. The eight and the nine are uh, covering each other. Yeah. Now here he comes. Oh, he lines up the six. Oh! Yeah. Nice, the eight or the nine, the nice shot there. He's got he's 40 on. seconds left. 23 seconds left. 23 points. He's got to beat 29. The seven would eight do it. The middle. He's going to have 30. Oh, yep, that's it. He, as Archer said, he's got the eight ball into the middle. 29 screwing, seconds left. Back for the seven. Knock it off the cushion. This to win the game. Come on, John. Come John Parrott. He's got 21 seconds left. He's going to make it quick. Lines it up. It's... Oh, oh. no! It's off! Oh! oh he rebounds in. He's got 13 seconds. I've won the Games Master Golden Joystick! <laughs> and climax is time for tips of a different kind in the consultation zone. The underground world of donut planes four and beyond the green exit pipe you'll find four blocks going up in a diagonal. If you're unable to fly, collect a Cooper shell, hurl it at the fourth block and a vine will take root. Climb this to find the green switch palace. Okay, thanks for your help. I hope it gives you much pleasure. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. What's your query? I've heard there's a secret room on Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion on World 1-4. Where should I be looking for this? Ah, yes. Head toward the fifth tree of the level and you will come across a tempting hole in the ground. Dive boldly in and head left toward an apparent dead end. For the night, let's go back to him for the final challenge. Back for yet more punishment, eh? Your appetite will be well and truly curbed with my last offering, Fatal Fury. More gratuitous violence. Very often. Not very often. So you expect to give him a bit of a thrashing tonight? Yep. Okay. All right, young Matthew's very confident there, Ian. Are you going to show him a thing or two? Well, I've had some uh, special lessons, and I think he's going to go home with his tail between his legs. Okay. Well, good luck to the both of you. As Matthew, if you'd like to sit in the left chair, Ian in the right-hand chair, we'll get ready to start. 
And keeping me out of harm's way tonight is GameZone's Vivian Nodge. Hello again, Vivian. Hello again, Dominic. Okay, now this is quite a tough game. Any general fighting tips for our two competitors? Just to keep moving, ducking and diving. Generally, just try as many different types of moves as possible, really. Okay, then. Matthew and Ian, are you ready? Yes. Then off you go. Okay, young Matthew's on the left-hand side. He's playing Joe Higashi in the gold shorts. And his father is in the white on the right, playing Andy Bogart. Now we've got two energy bars at the top right-hand corner. They're going to go down, Vivian, aren't they? They're going to go down. Whenever they're hit, their power goes down. You can see the player on the left seems to be losing, but oh, no. Oh, no, but he got a net. Matthew got a nice big hit. That one's start, flashing. Yeah. It means one more hit and he's down. They're both level on the energy bars at the top. They are. It's very close. Oh, yes. Dad got a nice one in there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, Matthew, you got off to a good start, but your dad pulled it back in the second bout. Were you frightened at all going into the third? Nah, I knew I could beat him. Okay. All right, now, Ian, brilliant comeback, but what was Absolutely. the deciding factor in the end? I'm carrying an old injury at the moment, and it started to tell in the third game. Ian, I can sympathise. Thank you. Okay, well, Matthew, because you're the winner of the fight, you win television's best prize, the Golden Games Master Joystick! <laughs>